Hello from CES 2022. I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and behind me is the world's first fully automated tractor. It's not a demo, it's not a concept device. It actually works. And it's going straight from production to farms later this fall. This is our first look at John Deere's fully automated tractor. So what hardware makes this tractor fully autonomous? You might recall a few months back, I did a video where I talked about my ride on a semi-autonomous John Deere tractor. This is more or less the same model, the John Deere 8R. What's different is this component called the camera pod. It houses three pairs of stereo cameras. You have one right here, another up front right here, and this one off to the side right here. And if you follow me, they also have one back here. Together, all six cameras work in tandem to give the tractor a full 360 degrees of visibility. Like some high-end computers, NVIDIA GPUs provide the brain power. Apart from these cameras, this yellow dot up top is also an important component that makes this self-driving feature a reality. Called a Starfire receiver, it's a GPS antenna which first appeared on Deer tractors in 1998. We'll talk about cost later, but first, how does it work? Well, here's the layman's explanation. It's three easy steps. First, drive to your starting point. Two, enter specifics of the task from the command console inside the tractor, things like depth and speed. And three, swipe to begin work. Sun, someone in the driver's seat, the tractor goes about its business. From your smartphone app, the tractor can send you alerts. Say, maybe it senses that air pressure is low on one of its tires, or maybe the cameras have detected an object on its path. From an app like this, the farmer can decide which action to take. So for example, what to do with this obstacle, should it go around the obstacle? And at any time, they can also dial in to a live feed from any of the six tractor cameras. They can also summon the tractor back to its starting point. In its first iteration, the fully autonomous tractor only supports one attachment, the one they use for tilling soil. But in the future, it will get support for other tools, like the machine they use for spraying fertilizer. Okay, back to the cost question. The folks at Deere have yet to reveal pricing, but the good news is you don't have to buy a new tractor. If you already own an old tractor like this one, then your tractor can be fully autonomous too. You just need to buy that module. Currently, there's support for the 8R410, which has been in production for two years now. But the folks at Deere say it should come to other models and series numbers in the future. So why do we actually need automation? Well, the goal is to be able to free people up to do other things. One day, when self-driving cars become a reality, we can sit back and continue to work on our computers, or we could lay back and catch up on some Zs. Farmers deal with such limited critical windows to get some things done, so without having to drive a tractor, it frees them up to do other things. Finally, I wanted to share one more anecdote. Last year, during my visit to an actual farm, I met farmers who told me how hard it is to be in the fields all day. I'm told that the average age of a farmer is 55 years old, and that's because of the toll that it takes on their body sitting behind a chair like that for six days a week for up to 16 hours each day. Without having to drive a tractor in the future, this won't be a problem anymore. Every year at CES, I come to see cool tech, even if they're sometimes just concepts that never see the light of day. Like self-driving cars, which are here in some form, but not fully rolled out. Or, as was the case with foldable displays, doesn't become an actual product that you can buy till more than half a decade later. Well, this is a product that you can buy today. And if you're just like me and don't own a farm, 
you still rely on the products of farming every single day. So this revolutionary new tech impacts us all. And that was our first look at John Deere's fully automated tractor. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, from here at CES 2022, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you.